Animals eat stuff. It's something they do. And sometimes the things they eat, well, they aren't things that are supposed to be eaten. That means some weird bits and bobs can be found in their guts. These are the weirdest things ever found inside animals. Number 20. Poor man removes one million ticks from his dog's ear. Ticks are nasty and dangerous parasites. They're actually considered arachnids on account of having eight legs, which means they're a part of the spider family. But these nightmarish creatures are much more gross than spiders. They actually carry very serious diseases, such as Lyme disease, and also they feast on blood. Just the thought of having a parasite feeding on your blood is already disgusting enough, but imagine what this poor dog must have felt when he had one million ticks in his ears. Thankfully, an old man patiently removed them one by one, otherwise that puppy might have died. How the ticks managed to hold on so strongly on a body is by literally burying their head inside the host's skin to reach the blood vessels. They have a very strong neck, and they just stay there sucking blood at will and getting bigger and bigger. Sometimes Sometimes they can grow up to 100 times their original size. The most dangerous thing about removing a tick is to decapitate them, leaving their head inside the skin. This can cause a very serious and sometimes lethal infection. This poor little pooch was very lucky to find someone to help him, otherwise it wouldn't have been a very bright future for him. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. When this poor creature was sliced open, nobody expected to find one turtle, but they definitely didn't expect to find three. This foolish, foolish animal decided to eat an entire family of turtles. We're not sure if it's a crocodile or an alligator, and we'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. We're also not 100% sure the family he ate was turtles. There's a chance they were tortoises. Again, we're calling in you clever people. Let us know in the comments below if you're an animal expert. Unfortunately, the poor gator or croc had to die so that the turtles or tortoises could survive. Thankfully, they did, though, and the family got away, albeit slowly. It was one of those awkward situations. Let the big guy live and let the family of shelled fellas die, or save them but kill the big guy. Do you think the right choice was made? As always, comment down below with the hashtag the odd topic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Three live turtles in a crocodile. Crocodiles are frightening animals, those large reptiles snapping away at anything that comes near them. The sheer power of their jaws and their multitude of teeth ready to snap any of their prey in two. Well, surely nothing can survive such scary power. The animal kingdom never ceases to not only surprise us, but fill us with wonder. So imagine you're out in your forest hunting for a crocodile for dinner. You take the time to hunt down, capture, and fearlessly tie up that powerful mouth. You make the kill, and yet you see something moving in the croc's stomach. What's going on? If you have squeamish eyes, you should turn away now. Without hesitation, they slice open the belly of the croc. Little by little, they open the stomach lining, take out the guts, intestines, and what happens? They pull out a baby turtle alive and kicking. No, wait, they pull out a second baby turtle alive and kicking, and as all good come in threes, yep, there's a third. Incredible. How did these little turtle snappers survive the jaws of the crocodile? Truly a miracle. Unlucky for the croc that he was killed, but lucky for the turtles because they found their freedom. What do you do after that magnificent find? Well, you don't waste your kill. These hunters cooked up a delicious crocodile feast on the fire. Number 18. Barbecue Tongs in a Snake Australia, the land of thousands of dangerous animals, barbecues, and simply a place where we never cease to be amazed. Well, this is another bizarre story out of Oz, and it involves Snickers. No, this is not the chocolate bar. Snickers is a pet snake in Adelaide, Australia. No matter how much junk food you eat and feel guilty about, you are nothing compared to Snickers the snake. 
Known by his owners for eating pretty much anything, the silly snake got too greedy at the barbecue and gobbled up the tongs. Ouch, that's gotta be painful, and surely not very tasty at all. What was Snickers thinking? Who knows, but look at how painful this looks for him, as his owners take about an hour to gently massage the tongs out of his belly. Twisting, turning, caressing the tongue up through Snickers' body and out of his mouth. It wasn't an easy job by any stretch, but Snickers did have to stretch, and finally, the tongue slipped out of his mouth and onto the deck. With nearly 150,000 views on YouTube, squeamish or not, there are a lot of people curious to see tongs coming out of a snake. You'll not look at a pair of barbecue tongs the same way ever again without thinking about poor old Snickers the snake. Number 17. Big Shark Eats Little Shark this terrifying and bizarre event took place at the Seoul Aquarium in South Korea. In the footage, you can clearly see a 2.2 meter long female sand tiger shark eating alive a slightly smaller shark. The female in question is 8 years old, and apparently she was engaging in what the aquarium staff referred to as a turf war, which means two clans of sharks are fighting for the exact same territory. And casualties are bound to happen. The smaller shark was reportedly a five-year-old male. The attack occurred in the evening. There were first about 10 minutes of struggle, and then the female resulted victorious. She then proceeded to slowly swim around the tank while swallowing her victim for everyone to see. It's almost as if she's trying to send a message. Mess with me, and this is what'll happen to you. The freakiest part about this incident is that 21 hours later, the tip of the tail of the small shark was still hanging out of her mouth. Yeah, this is due to the shark's uncooperative digestive system. The tail will most probably remain there for about five days or so. But after a week, as the female won't be able to digest the creature, she will regurgitate her victim, meaning that this was an act of war and not of hunger all along. Number 16. Coins in Turtle's Stomach we hear how money can in fact weigh you down, and that was literally the situation for this poor, endangered green sea turtle. Sadly, nicknamed Osman, meaning Piggy Bank, the 25-year-old turtle lived in a park pond on the east coast of Thailand. People would regularly throw their coins into the pond for good luck. Thinking it was food, Osman would then gobble them up like candy. But after eating 915 coins, a ball of coins weighing 11 pounds formed a mass in her stomach, leading to the weight eventually cracking her ventral, which is her underside shell. Five veterinarians in the eastern town of Sri Racha worked very hard over four hours to delicately remove the coins. Many of the coins had already eroded, causing infection. It was then up to Osman to see if she could survive. Sadly, Osman eventually died through blood poisoning despite all the efforts to try and save her. Sea turtles can live up to a hundred years and are truly magnificent creatures. But only living a quarter of her life, no pun intended, Osman was a victim to human greed of wishing for good luck. Please do not throw your coins into a pond for good luck. You never know who it might bring bad luck to. Number 15. Light Bulb in a Golden Retriever Here's a bright idea. Why not eat a light bulb and see if you can keep it intact? Well, this 10-month-old Golden Retriever named Colby did just that. I mean, I'm not sure he was actually trying to see if he could keep the light bulb intact in his stomach, but he ate it nevertheless. If you've ever had a Golden Retriever as a pet, then you would know they're not only known to be lovely-tempered family dogs, but they're also known to eat absolutely everything and anything. Combine that with the fact that they're thieves, and you have a recipe for disaster. Yeah, they'll steal anything from you. Usually it's socks from the laundry basket and then they parade around the house all happy with themselves with the sock in their mouth. Well, I guess Colby mistook a light bulb for a sock. Crazy, I know, but it's the only reason we can think of as to why he would eat such an object. Imagine if that broke inside him. Ouch. Uh, don't worry though, Colby turned out just fine. After a day of intravenous fluid, he pooped out the light bulb completely intact and functional. So beware, if you own a golden retriever, do not leave light bulbs lying around. They may just disappear into your best friend's belly. Number 14. Trash in Sperm Whale 
a disturbing trend is on the rise. Marine waste is killing more and more marine life. In 2019, a sperm whale was found stranded on Luskintyre Beach in Harris, Northeast Scotland. Sadly, there was more than 220 pounds of trash in his stomach. Having been dead for 48 hours, the Scottish Marine Animal Stranding Scheme performed a necropsy on the whale and discovered the staggering mass of fishing nets, ropes, gloves, plastic bags, and plastic cups. It's not known if the whale died of this mass of debris, but it's certainly plausible that it could have led to its stranding. The organization was quoted as saying, this amount of plastic in the stomach is nonetheless horrific. It must have compromised digestion and serves to demonstrate yet again the hazards that marine litter and lost or discarded fishing gear can cause to marine life. They believe that the whale would have ingested this waste somewhere between Norway and the Azores. The whale, weighing a whopping 20 tons, was so huge that it was impossible to move, and therefore the necropsy had to be carried out on the beach. Once complete, they then went on to bury the whale on the beach. A very sad and distressing sight for locals to see. It's a reminder of the impact our pollution is having on marine life. Number 13. Crocodile in a Snake Crocodiles and snakes, two deadly animals. Who do you think would win in a battle? Crocodiles are known for their powerful jaws and quick movements. Snakes are known for their sheer constrictive strength and insanely flexible jaws. In Lake Mundara near Mount Isa in northern Queensland, Australia, local residents caught on camera a mighty battle for over five hours between a 10-foot snake believed to be a python and a crocodile. Pythons are known to coil themselves around their prey in order to suffocate or give it heart failure before eating them. That is certainly how this python went about its kill, fighting, wrestling, and using all its muscle strength in this dramatic fight to the death. During this exhausting battle, where you could see the crocodile holding its head out of the water trying to survive whilst being constricted, the snake was masterfully coiling itself around the body to disable the croc's legs and hold it tight. Finally, the crocodile succumbed to its death and the snake uncoiled itself and started to eat its prey face first. Those amazing flexible jaws proceeded to swallow the crocodile whole over a period of 15 minutes. That sure was a big snake snack, and he probably slithered away for a digestive snooze afterwards. The locals understandably did not stick around to find out. Number 12. 43 Socks in a Great Dane what is it with dogs and socks? If you've ever owned a dog, you'll know that socks often go missing only to be found in a corner somewhere with dog saliva all over them. Attracted by the smell of you on your clothes, socks are a favorite amongst dogs, but they do not normally eat them. Have you ever lost 43 and a half socks? Yeah, Claude, the Great Dane, seemed to be the guilty victim of a crime. Did he eat all of them? When Claude's owners found him retching, they sped him over to the Animal Emergency Hospital in Northwest Portland. X-rays revealed a stomach full of a large quantity of foreign material. Dr. Ashley McGee had to operate to find out what was happening. After nearly two hours of surgery, she had carefully removed a staggering 43 and a half socks of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Possibly the strangest case the animal hospital has ever had. So strange, in fact, that the x-ray won a $500 prize in an annual vet contest entitled they ate what? Bizarrely, first place went to an animal hospital in Texas that had an exotic frog who ate 30 ornamental rocks from its cage. As for Claude the Great Dane, how many pairs of socks does it take for a person to notice they're gone? I guess that number's 43 and a half. Number 11. 85 kilograms of plastic in bull. When we imagine bulls, we think of these incredibly strong cattle, the rulers of the cattle world. Sadly, that was not the case in Pimpri Chinchwad, India, where a seven-year-old bull was abandoned by its owner. Found by the side of the road and picked up by the Rescue Foundation, they took him back for some care and attention. Named Nandi, the poor bull could barely breathe or stand on its legs. It was decided that surgery was required to find out what was causing his extreme discomfort, as poor Nandi was bloated beyond belief. After two and a half hours of surgery from the Rescue Foundation, they pulled out 85 kilograms of plastic waste 
from his stomach. It was a horrible sight, but a relief for them. The huge bulk of plastic, metal, nails, and glass was putting pressure on his lungs, causing him to not breathe properly. And of course, the sheer weight of 85 kilograms was too much a load for his back, causing him to not be able to stand properly. The problem is that animals are not able to decipher food from plastic, and therefore they just eat the bag and the plastic of thrown away waste. Thankfully, Nandi has now recovered in the sanctuary, and they're looking for an owner to adopt him. Anyone want to adopt a sweet seven-year-old bull? Number 10. Electric Blanket in a Snake Queen-sized blankets and king-sized snakes. What on earth has an electric blanket got to do with a 12-foot Burmese python? Well, believe it or not, this python swallowed a whole queen-sized electric blanket, including the electrical cord and control box. But again, the question has to be asked, why? Named Houdini, this 12-foot pet python weighing a huge 65 pounds is owned by Carl Besnoska in Idaho. Carl went to bed after feeding Houdini its nightly meal of rabbit. The next day, he awoke to find the python in his cage, but no electric blanket to keep him warm. Fearing the worst, Carl took Houdini to the vet and, lo and behold, x-rays showed the blanket in his belly. It seems Houdini swallowed up the blanket at the same time as his rabbit dinner. Veterinarian Karsten Faustvet had never been faced with such a case and called upon a snake specialist in California to talk him through the procedure. An 18-inch incision and a two-and-a-half-hour surgery later, and out came the blanket. Houdini was stitched back up and sent home. Still living to tell the tale, Houdini is slithery and healthy. And this is not the first time this has happened. A similar case in Las Vegas happened with Aurora the Python. Watch out for your electric blankets when snakes are around. Number 9. Kitchen Knife in a Puppy Puppies and knives. It sounds horrible, doesn't it? Macy is a 12-week-old Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Such a cute little puppy with those floppy ears and big eyes. But Macy was a very lucky puppy indeed, and has some vets in Glasgow, Scotland to thank for her life. Macy's owner, 46-year-old Irene, found her making a squeaking noise in the house and initially thought she'd swallowed a toy. She started to choke and be sick, so she rushed Macy to the vet. On the way to the vet, she was starting to bleed from her nose. It was frightening times for Irene and her family, who had recently lost another dog to cancer. The vet was quick to act, and to their shock, the x-ray revealed an 8-inch knife. With the handle lodged in her intestines and the blade in her gullet, it was crucial that the vets operated immediately. Luckily for Macy, the handle end of the knife went down first, otherwise it could have pierced all her organs. It was just amazing that we managed to get it out. Mm -hmm. The owners have no idea how she got the knife, but we do know how dogs like to lick dishwashers. In any case, the owners were very happy that Macy made a healthy recovery. I hope Macy gave the vet a big sloppy lick to say thank you. Number 8. A Frog Ate Rocks Imagine having a gorgeous and exotic frog as a pet. You know, taking good care of it, feeding it, maybe talking to it. And one day, out of the corner of your eye, you catch a glimpse of your best friend eating the rocks in its cage. The panic! That can't be good for any living thing. This exact nightmare happened to a man in Houston, Texas one day when he woke up to his pet frog casually snacking on the ornamental rocks inside the cage. Obviously, he took the animal to the nearest veterinarian clinic immediately. And there, the vet did some x-rays on the little mischievous creature. They actually found exactly 30 ornamental rocks inside the frog, as it seems the animal had been working on quite the collection. But against all logic, the amphibian was not showing any signs of being in pain or suffering at all. And as the vet said, it really was a stroke of good luck because the situation could have had a pretty dark turn. That x-ray picture went on to win in an annual vet contest entitled, They Ate What? They proceeded to perform surgery to remove all the rocks and objects from the frog's stomach, and it was, thankfully, a success. The little one made a fuller recovery, but if I were its owner, I'd be keeping a close eye on the little rascal. Number 7. Squid with Live Bomb Who likes squid? A very tasty seafood when served in garlic and butter. Delicious. But you wouldn't want to be cooking up a squid with a live bomb inside it. Well, if it wasn't for fishmonger Mr. Huang from the Guangdong province in China, you could have found a live bomb in your shopping. 
Mr. Huang was going about his usual daily job of gutting squid at his market stall, but he was left shell-shocked when his knife struck a rusty metallic object. To his surprise, he discovered an eggplant-shaped bomb inside the squid. It was a 20-centimeter device, possibly dropped by a fighter jet in the shallow waters off the Guangdong province. It did not stop the one-meter-long squid from gobbling it up. Obviously, he was quick to call the police to the scene, and the bomb squad removed the bomb in a controlled explosion. This sort of squid normally lives close to the shore and feeds on small fish and prawns. Mr. Huang was quoted as saying perhaps he thought the bomb was his favorite food and gulped it down. He certainly had a big belly when he was caught. That would have been one hell of an explosive meal. Number 6. Glove and Handkerchief an ostrich belly full of gloves and handkerchiefs. What's going on? Well, ostriches normally feed on seeds, grass, shrubs, flowers, and fruit, so naturally, that's what you would expect to find in their stomach. However, around 1930, at the London Zoo in England, one of the ostriches died unexpectedly. After a post-mortem was held, the findings were unbelievable. So much so that London Zoo photographer and assistant treasurer Frederick William Bond decided to catch the contents in a photo. Y'all ready for this? Inside the poor ostrich's belly was the following. Three odd cotton gloves, three handkerchiefs, the wooden center of a silk spool, a piece of lead pencil, various coins, part of a bicycle valve, part of a metal comb, a piece of wood, two yards of string, an alarm clock key, several small metal washers and other pieces of metal, and last but not least, probably the piece that killed the poor ostrich, a four-inch nail. A staggering collection of strange objects, probably due to the tragic consequence of the bird's urban existence, but also, most likely, the bird ingested coins and gloves to help digest its food. Ostriches have no teeth, so they have to ingest stones or pebbles to help masticate their food. Sadly, this ostrich chose the wrong pieces, and it was the final nail in the coffin. Number 5. Golf Ball in Whale now, we've seen some horrible stories of whales being found dead with masses of sea debris discovered in their stomachs. The usual cases of fishing nets, plastic, wood, and general sea garbage. But this is a strange one. A little white golf ball was discovered in the stomach of a gray whale. The gray whale was sadly found dead in 2012 off Kamano Island in Washington. After an examination by NOAA Fisheries, they found a large amount of woody debris, pieces of rope, plastic, and, yeah, a golf ball. This was a huge 37-foot sub-male that had been feeding recently on shrimp. So where did he consume this tiny golf ball? That's not his usual diet. Uh, maybe a golf course on the coast and a wayward shot, but would whales even come that close? Or would this be someone out on their fancy yacht hitting golf balls out to sea? Well, let's face it, as tragic as it is a whale dying, it's very unlikely that this tiny golf ball would have been the cause of its death. But if you're a golfer, you know, try to not hit golf balls into the sea. You never know where they may end up. Number 4. A Police Whistle Inside Jumbo the Elephant Jumbo the Elephant is not to be confused with Dumbo, the Disney character. Also known as Jumbo the Circus Elephant, he was a famous elephant in the 19th century. Born in Sudan, Jumbo was exported to Jardin des Plantes Zoo in Paris before being transferred in 1965 to the London Zoo in England. Jumbo became renowned worldwide, and we still speak of him to this day. He was a star, and even Queen Victoria rode him. Dumbo eventually arrived in the U.S. in 1882 when P.T. Barnum bought him amongst much controversy. He was paraded around and took part in P.T. Barnum's infamous circus. He was such an attraction that he earned $1.75 million in his 31-week season at the surface. That is an incredible amount of money for the late 1800s. He was even used as one of Barnum's 21 elephants that crossed Brooklyn Bridge to prove that it was safe following a tragic stampede that cost the lives of 12 people. Jumbo continued to be a star but tragically died when hit by a train heading back from the circus. Dying within minutes, it was a tragic end to this magnificent creature. Not leaving us without a little mystery, various objects were found in Jumbo's stomach. They weren't peanuts, but English pennies, keys, rivets, and last but not least, a police whistle. Number 3. Tires Those fearsome creatures of the deep that we've seen in many films. 
That's right, sharks. Big, sharp-toothed predators. Sharks have been known to eat anything from license plates to fishing nets, fishes, cannonballs, dolphins, and even on rare occasions taken a bite out of people. However, strangely enough, there have been numerous findings of tigers in shark stomachs. How the hell did they get there? What entices a shark to eat a tiger? Well, I'm sure they regret it after. In the early 1970s, it was decided by some environmental activists that they could create a man-made reef by dumping a million tires into the Gulf of Mexico. The project was an absolute failure, but was also an environmental disaster as sharks started showing up with tires in their stomachs. They believe that the sharks mistook the tires for marine life, but damn, they must have been chewy. As we humans continue to dump rubbish into the sea, unfortunate marine life such as sharks will continue to eat them. And this isn't the only weird thing that's been found in sharks. There's been video cameras, drums, a bag of money, amongst others, and my favorite of all, a full armored knight suit. That must have been crunchy. Number two, a dog ate a concoction of nails. Two-year-old Roxy, a basset hound, seems to have confused the toolbox for a lunchbox. Her owner, Ashley Sachs, woke up one day to her pet being uncontrollably sick. Not knowing what could have possibly happened, she took her to the vet as fast as humanly possible. What they would find next will blow your mind. Ashley Sachs told interviewers that when the x-rays came back, not even the vet could believe what she was looking at. It turns out that Roxy got a little greedy and simply gobbled up 130 one-inch long nails. It's not short of a miracle that Roxy was still alive. those nails could have easily pierced through her stomach and even injured the surrounding internal vital organs. They had to perform an emergency surgery, and an hour later, all the nails were finally out of her stomach. But some nails had already found their way to her intestines, and those were a little trickier to get. But the vet stuck a tube down her throat to get them one by one. Roxy made a full recovery, and she will thankfully live much longer. But I bet she's no longer allowed anywhere near the toolbox ever again. Number 1. Ball of Hair Found in Stomach of Cat Can cleanliness kill you? You wouldn't think so, would you? Well, cats are known to constantly groom themselves. Licking and cleaning themselves, they create little hairballs, which they frequently cough up, called fur balls. This was not the case for the ginger, long-haired cat called Gemma in England back in 2012. She may have been a very clean cat, but she put her life at risk doing it. After not eating for five days, Gemma was taken to the vet by her worried owners. At first, the vet thought the huge mass was a tumor, but after an exploratory operation, they discovered the gigantic hairball. The size of two baseballs or two iPhones and weighing a staggering 215 grams of cat hair. It was no wonder that poor Gemma had no room for any food. After 40 years of being a vet, David Fennell had said he'd never seen anything like it. It was the largest he had ever seen, and we can very much believe that. Thankfully, it wasn't a tumor, and a day after surgery, she was back at home all healthy and eating again. Hey, Gemma, please be careful the next time you're grooming yourself. We don't want another giant fur ball putting your life at risk. Make sure you cough them up. As you can see, animals can be very unpredictable. Just like a child, we must always keep an eye on them. But it's also important to note that littering is a very serious problem, and we should all do our part to help nature be safer. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!